Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to give you a basic introduction to classes and object in C++. So first of all, what is a class? A class is a collection of related data and function under a single name. So let me paste you this definition and once again go through the definition of a class. A class is a collection of related data and function under a sim single name. So for example, a C++ program can contain hundreds and hundreds of functions and thousands of variables. And using class, we collect same kind of functions and data and we use this collection in single class. So for example, you have a book class. You can collect uh, functions related to book. For example, print book, open book, close book, and variables related to book class. For example, you have author of the book, name of the book, uh, and uh, how many number of pages book contains. So this kind of data which is same or related to one another, we encapsulate this kind of functions of it, this kind of variable in a single class. The second example can be a box class which can contain uh, the height, width and the length of the box and it can contain, a fun contain functions like uh, the volume of the box or uh, the surface area of the box. Okay, so using class we collect related data and function uh, in C++. Now let me uh, give you an example how you can declare a class in C++. You can declare a class in C++ using uh, the name class itself and then you give the name to your class. Generally it's a good practice to start your class name with a capital letter. So for example I want to make a class called book. So I will write this class as books and then you give these parentheses and this semicolon. Okay, so this is a basic definition of class and inside your class you can declare different variables or different functions. Okay, now there is a word called access specifier. Now, for example, if you want to use variables or function which you declare inside this class uh, in your main program. So the functions in book class, you want to use it in your main program, you use public access specifier. Or otherwise, if you don't want to use your function inside your class, and you just want to use your function inside your class, inside your class itself, then you need to use private access specifier. But this I will uh, explain you later. Right now we are going to use a public access specifier. So you can uh, declare this public access specifier like this. Just write the name public and then give this colon. Not this, but this colon and whatever you write under this will be considered or will be treated as public members of this class. For example, I declare a variable int and I will say the book id. So I will declare it book id is equal to 256 for example. And I will declare a function also inside this class to print the book ID. So I will say void print book ID and I will give this parenthesis and in, inside this I will just print the book ID. So I will say see out. 
the book ID is equal to and then I will just copy this book ID paste it here and end line okay now I have declared a variable inside my book class and I have declared a function inside my book class so you can declare variables and functions inside your book class or inside your any class right now for example you want to use these members or this function in here inside your main function what you need to do is you need to declare a object of this class and why do we use object because there can be many classes inside your program and there can be functions which have the same name for example the other class can also contain print book id the other class can also contain id so there can be multiple definition of these function and how will you know which class this function belongs to so for this you need to declare object so you know which class this function belongs to okay so uh, an object is an instance of the class right now to declare the object what you need to do is you need to use the name of the class so I will just use the name of the class and then you need to give the variable name or object name to this so I will give uh, the object name for example book one and semicolon so this variable or this is called the object of the class and we will we are going to access the uh, the functions inside this book class or variable inside this book class using this object okay so how we can use this function print book id using this book one object just write book one and we use this dot separator in order to access this function so i will use this print book function and just semicolon and then now i can just compile my program and hopefully it will not give you me any errors so my program is built now and now i can run my program so i will run my program and you can see the book id is and whatever the ID of the book right so in this way you can declare objects of a class and you can access the member of the class these are called member function and this is called the member variable you can directly access this variable by for example you want to access this variable because this is a public uh, public variable we have declared this in public uh, access uh, member variable so we can just write it here see out book one dot id okay and this will print you the book id which is 256 right so you can access this variable also because this is a public member of this class right and now I will run, build my program and run it and you can see it has printed 256 here so this is the basic introduction of classes and object in C++ in the coming videos we will discuss more about classes uh, so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now